Beer for breakfast at the Brandon Folk Festival, the Folk Music and Art Festival to be precise. Yes. And in the background, Digging Roots and the Harpoonist and Axe Murder are setting up and they're to jam together. But right now, we've got Red Moon Road and uh, they were jamming with Kev Corbett. Yeah. Nobody knew who he was except for you three. Yeah. How is it that you became such good friends with this guy who was amazing? Uh, and we've never heard of him before. Well, we're lucky because we, we get to travel so often, and uh, anybody who goes to Halifax will encounter the Haligonian royal family, which happens to be Kevin Corbett and his wonderful wife and CBC host, uh, Stephanie Dome. And they, uh, they have us over, and we sit in their backyard in the middle of Halifax and eat brisket. So yep. we thought we'd also be a good band together. <laughs> and you were a fantastic band together. Oh, is, is it true what he said? Were you guys just last night? Yep. You just started? and yep. how, yep. how do you pull something like that off? Because I know not all musicians read music. I mean, that, that yeah. how do you pull off the chemistry as well? It's like, oh, here you go. I've got a dozen songs. Learn them now. Well, well Kev was kind enough to uh, give us a preview of the album. So once yeah. he had actually yeah. completed it, the masters were done, he sent us a streaming link. So we had the kind of privileged to hear the album for yeah. the first time before a yeah. lot of the rest of the public. So between um, the time where you sent it to us and uh, and this this weekend, we had a chance to listen to it quite a bit. And it was pretty endearing, actually. The album itself is really incredible. So yeah. the chemistry sort of came, was, was really born of the, the natural awesomeness on the record itself. Yeah. In terms of charting songs, though, maybe you can speak to that. Yeah. Well, it was fun for me. These guys have a lot of experience, like, sort of, they, they jam a lot, sit around campfires and learn songs on the fly, and so it's kind of something that the more you do, the better you are at it. For me, I was kind of faking it up there. Like, I, you know, I have a little bit of musical training, but it was fun for me to get these tunes and, like, have to chart them out myself, and then, like, kind of, it was, a, yeah, it was a learning experience for sure. It was a lot of fun. Actually, actually the truth is it was a Millie Vanilli moment. It was just the CD playing, and we were faking yeah. it. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and tell the truth here. But isn't that really a monkey's moment? Millie Vanilli were just the fall guys That's for right. things that had happened before. Right. But enough about Millie Vanilli okay. and good friends from the coast. Fair. Let's talk about Red Moon Road. Uh, you've still got until Thursday, if you're viewing this by the uh, 29th, to get a free song from these folks. Yes. If you don't, you have to wait until September 11th when they release it at the West End Cultural Center. Tell us about your brand new album and why you're making us wait. Well, <laughs> What did we do? We've got some legal charges pending, so we're trying to get that all cleared up before yeah, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's taken a long time. We've been on the road for most of the last year, and trying to do a distance recording is always a challenge. But in the end, it means we've got a product that I think we're really proud of and I think is something pretty special. So um, we're really excited to finally get it out. It's something we've we've had for a while now. It's just burning holes in our pockets, so we're yeah. pretty excited to just let the thing out. Yeah. So and, just wanted uh, to make sure it was perfect for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We went to a lot of a lot of ends to, to do this right. Yeah. How do you know when to stop? I mean, that's the question <laughs> I ask everybody: is how do you know when it's like your credit it's time card? To <laughs> your credit card starts getting declined, and you say, okay, then it's done. Yeah. Or it's time to. <laughs> it's got to start getting some money back to us now. <laughs> and then the song itself that you can get at ManitobaMusic.com. Uh, you'll always be able to stream it, but to get it in your grubby little hands, you got to get there before the 29th of July. Yes. Uh, Words of the Walls, all about the Rosalind apartment. And yeah. that is a, a rich, rich, crazy history. Yes. <laughs> crazy, like crazy <laughs> eyes. There's a... There's rumors of uh, gun holes and such there. The guy yep. had a little bit of paranoia. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your history with the building. What brought you to compose a song about it? Well, since I was in high school, it seems like someone I knew was always living there. And so, you know, I feel like oh, there's the line in the song, over the long years, everyone's lived here. Rode the elevator made of bars and, and ain't that the way in Winnipeg. It seems like everyone's either had a friend or lived there themselves when they first moved out. And we were just sitting there in the apartment with my cousin who lives and lives there now. And we're like, yeah, these, <laughs> these walls, they could, they could blackmail people if they wanted to because I'm sure they've seen some things. They could probably bring down the entire city. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. really. For sure. No so, one wants to leak anything because they're all as vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> September the 11th, the West End Cultural Center, Small Glories are opening up. Yep. Wow. What, yeah. a, what a great show. Uh, what about the summer? What's going on uh, in between then for you guys? You know what? We're pretty excited that we don't have a lot going on yeah. between now and then. <laughs> we, we did a 10-week thing in Europe and three weeks on the coast and it was great to come home to this, and this kind of feels like being a yeah. summer, but yeah. now we have... Um, We're playing Harvest Sun in August, and uh, between Brandon, the end of Brandon here, and Harvest Sun Festival, we've yeah. pretty much, we'll be relaxing and taking some much needed 
R and R. Yeah, learning how so. to be uh, sedentary <laughs> once again. Yeah. And by that we mean trying to learn how to play the album we just recorded. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> we kind of yes. set the bar pretty high for ourselves in the studio, yeah. and now we have to replicate it live. Yeah. Daniel, Sheena, Daniel, Red Moon Road, mm-hmm. thank you very much for thank joining you, us. Thank you so much. Beer for Breakfast at the Brandon Folk Music and Art Festival 2015. <laughs>